Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Monty, and we are here in Season 50, quite a big number, and we have few new things that I would like to talk about to you. Uh, just like I mentioned in my previous video, now we have a good look on that. Uh, first thing is, of course, Gluton Monster's Chest, feed the Glutons and receive legendary cards. Uh, it's in the shop, workshop, scroll up, and here you go uh, as you can see it's pretty much the same build as experiments you add legendary unit and if you have any of those gluten chests that you can obtain in season pass uh, then you can exchange your legendary unit for another legendary units uh, out of two choices basically and you can exchange either of those choices and to increase the number of your exchanges you can add uh, exchange your faction cores for these tries basically and it's random cores um, in my opinion it's not really that great for a someone who is free, free to play player uh, but someone who doesn't have anything to spend his cores on then maybe it's a good thing um, overall uh, I don't think uh, it's a really near perfection uh, just like it experiments where when they were introduced uh, but overall I think it's a another thing where you can get your legendary of your choice um, but maybe some tweaks maybe some something more maybe something cheaper maybe uh, maybe something uh, and yeah I think it can be a good feature in the future basically all right uh, another thing same in store uh, you go to primary you scroll down and you have seasonal items in the seasonal shop it resets every season as you can see uh, you can obtain magic dust for one rune key uh, two magic orbs for six rune keys and you can buy magic orbs for gems first two are for 500 gems and then it's unlimited for 750 gems um, just like I said in, in my previous videos, I think it's a good idea to have something to spend your gems on, especially if you want to upgrade your units. There should be a feature for pay to win uh, players or maybe pay to convenience, uh, it's better, better worded. And two new things uh, that I already purchased, but one of those is uh, limited by three times. A magic orbs for 50 bells each so you can exchange 150 bells for three magic orbs and then you can exchange uh, another three magic orbs for 1000 dust each orb so 3000 dust overall for three magic orbs in my opinion it's a good change they should keep it in every season um, in seasonal shop uh, just because it adds up the value to the magic shop, uh, to the magic dust, sorry, and to bells, of course, of course. Um, because in my opinion, I honestly don't have anything to spend my bells on. Uh, same with dust, I just exchange uh, for legendary units just for the videos, uh, so you understand my point of view, hopefully. Um, and yeah, another thing is season pass. Uh, let's get into that. Did you guys know that whenever you buy something in the Rush Real Market, you have tons of benefits? You get much better prices than you have in the game client, you can support your favorite content creator with a promo code, and you can also limit the number of your purchases. Instead of several mini transactions, you can just buy yourself platinum and then buy in-game stuff such as gems, passes or deal offers with it. If you want to support me, please use code MANTI whenever you purchase in the market. You can leave me a message that will show on my stream as well. For all the people who uses my code, big thanks. Alright, and we are in the season pass. As you can see, the season 50 is called Wild West, it's the theme of the season. And as you can see, the first uh, reward that you get uh, while purchasing premium pass is a rune key. I didn't collect it yet, of course. Uh, we'll scroll down uh, in just take a look what's new in the season pass as you can see we get a new uh, themed emoji uh, it's one of those memes the songs uh, whatever it was called um, another new thing is another emoji it's a free free one at this time uh, not my favorite uh, 
and on level 15 from premium pass you get a gluten chest of course um, and you are uh, getting one of those already at level 15 we scroll down uh, what's new what's new this is pretty much the same chest of choice was there already and on level 40 you get another two from premium pass and one for uh, free one so overall already you get four rune keys if you purchase a season pass so it's already um bigger number than it was because it was three rune keys in the past and now it's four but yes i understand i know that you're gonna comment that uh yes Monty, but we uh, the three rune keys were three crystals now uh, three rune keys uh, are <laughs> what half, half a what the offer is right because you get six rune keys for two orbs basically exchange um but yeah maybe they they should increase it somehow not sure about it yet we'll see how it goes um and yeah please if you if you want if you can of course please stop hating on me for my opinion and 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 basically faults uh, i'm not responsible for these changes i'm just trying to talk about them and trying to introduce them uh, to some new people uh, to some people that uh, are not familiar with them and uh, so yeah i'm not responsible for these changes i'm not on the paycheck to on to, to someone like i'm not getting paid to talk about it basically it's just me my channel and my faults so please understand that uh, all right so let's move on if that's already clear uh, we scroll down 55 level is the same and on level 60 you get the third gluten chest all right so three already and that's it all right so you get four rune keys and three of those gluten chests i'm not sure if that's enough okay well uh in my opinion that's definitely not enough there were four rune keys and and three uh gluten chests uh from just a season pass i don't think it's nowhere near enough um because now you need two seasons to get what two orbs from rune keys i don't think that's good um but there is a new patch coming uh very shortly i think in like a one month for something like that uh and there will be a new thing that they already introduced somewhat called exhibitions where also they they mentioned that there might be possible to get a legendary hero fragments so i'm very excited for that let's see how they will make it and yeah there is one more thing that i want to talk about to you uh, that they did in in the beginning of the season all right, and that's the last thing that I want to talk about. And it's a lovely gift, like they called it. Um, to get it, basically you have to log into the game, check your in-game mail and pick it up. Uh, I can't unfortunately already show you because I already collected it. Uh, so I'm sorry for that, but it will be in your mail. Uh, in-game client, go to settings, uh, go to mail and there will you have it. Uh, three magic orbs. Uh, so I think that's a small compensation for the big change uh, that they reverted basically to magic crystals, just like I said. Uh, uh, three magic orbs and now you can exchange for another three for magic dust and additional one, uh, three ones for those. So overall you get nine orbs, so hopefully at least you can upgrade one level or maybe two levels of your legendary unit. So. Um, small thing, but surely uh, if, if someone gives you something for free, uh, then you should just say thank you and and that's it. In my opinion, that's how I was raised basically. And yeah, that's it for me in this short video. Hopefully you guys liked it and see you guys in the next video. Hey there, thanks for watching. And if you like the video, please subscribe and like as it helps me a ton. You can also leave a comment if you like as I read and respond to every comment. Thanks for watching.